Me? And not that which put a veil over his face. You hear that? So, watch it, and not like Moses that put a veil over his face. You remember? That would happen when, when Moses was exposed to the glory of God, and when he came to the people, the people was afraid, so he had to put a veil over his face. So now Paul now is, is, is now going to tell us that we have something greater than what Moses experienced. What you Paul is it, read? That the children of Israel cannot steadfastly look to the end of that which is abolished. Mm -hmm. But their mind from end of that what is what? Abolished. Abolished. That means it's no more. It's no more. It's no more. So when we say, Lord, I want to be in your face like Moses was in your presence, and Moses had to wear a veil, that is no more. That's then abolished. There's something higher than that. There's something greater than that. That was, a for, that was a foreshadow of, 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 of better things to come. Christ Jesus is already here. So Christ is greater than that. Read. But their minds were blinded. But their mind was blinded. You hear that? Their mind was blinded. For until this day remained the same. Until this day it remained the same. True. Even right now it remained the same that their minds are blinded. Blind. Blinded, they are still looking forward for that will. Amen. Do you know what will does? Will represent darkness. A will represent darkness. The Bible says that when Abraham and Lot, when God instruct Abraham, the, 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 amen, the, they begin to journey to the city. Amen. That, that God has, 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 has promised, swear Abraham. Abraham brought Lot. And the name Lot means veil. Lot can understand, Lot can see. And so what happened now, it, it, it becomes conflict between Lot man, man and Abraham man. You see what I'm saying? And when Abraham decided to let Lot go his way, then the Bible says, Abraham, stand where thou art. And as far as your eyes can see, as far as you can see, I will give it unto you. But as long as, as Lot was with Abraham, Lord was as a veil, Abraham couldn't see. So this right here was a, was, 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 was a veil. And so there's a lot of people right now in the church that's under a veil. They're not experiencing the glory of God, they are still experiencing the veil of Moses. That's where they stop. But something greater, someone greater than Moses is here. Jesus. Amen? I said someone greater than King Solomon is here. Someone greater than Isaiah is here. Someone greater than David is here. Hallelujah. Even King Solomon on all of his wisdom is not greater than Jesus. Amen. So we don't look on we don't look through a glass. We got the real thing. Amen. The Old Testament saints look through a glass. They're not the real thing. You are greater than Moses. Some of y'all ain't gonna believe that because y'all read a many story about Moses. Or oh, Moses yeah, in the burning bush. Moses saw God in the burning bush. Moses never saw God. No. Because Jesus came back and says, No man can see God and live. Amen. No man at any time has saw God. So what Moses saw? Back in God. I deal with that tonight. Moses didn't saw God. No man saw God. <laughs> but I hear preachers and preaching, and God show up in a burning bush and day, and Moses, no, no, Moses didn't saw God. No. That is not based on scripture. Amen. Amen. Ezekiel then saw God. Ezekiel, when Ezekiel, amen, began to see the revelation of Jesus Christ, Ezekiel said, I saw a wheel in the middle Middle of the wheel. wheel. But he couldn't see Jesus because that name was concealed. Hallelujah, the name was concealed. When Isaiah, Isaiah, one of the, amen, the closest prophet that comes, to his amen that almost identify his identity. But Isaiah said, A virgin shall receive and bring forth a child, and his name shall be called Emmanuel. Come see Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah.